Welcome to Token Post Daily News Briefing, where we provide you with the latest and exclusive news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. Our top stories today Ethereum Constantinople hard fork gets postponed to late February. The SEC's approval of Bitcoin ETF moves on schedule. Wyoming introduces a new bill on crypto, and a sale gets held on exchange user data. Stay tuned for more. I'm your host, Hun, and this is your daily news briefing. Token Post Daily News recently reported on the delay of the Ethereum Constantinople hard fork, with Ethereum core developers announcing that they would reschedule the hard fork. Last Friday, lead developer Peter Sizalagi stated via Twitter that the hard fork has once again been rescheduled to 27th of February, specifically after the creation of Ethereum's 7.28 millionth block. Ethereum's Constantinople hard fork was delayed last week due to a security vulnerability detected on its share payment function. The vulnerability rose concerns of a potential re-entrancy attack on the Ethereum blockchain. To elaborate, a re-entrancy attack occurs when a user uses the share payment function while an attacker modifies a contract to reroute a payment. Ethereum developers quickly took the matter into their hands and started to work on fixing the problem. The development team has yet to comment as to whether the possibility of such an attack has been resolved. They have decided to give themselves another month in which to review and patch the upcoming Constantinople hard fork. For those who watch CNBC's section on cryptocurrencies, the name Brian Kelly is a familiar name. Brian Kelly, a crypto entrepreneur and a regular contributor to CNBC on the show Fast Money and Crypto Class, recently commented on Bitcoin ETFs in an interview with Cointelegraph on January 18th, stating that there is no chance for a government-approved Bitcoin ETF. This was in line with this previous argument that the existing BTC futures market is not mature enough in the eyes of the SEC. Last week, the SEC released a report on pending administrative proceedings stating that the commission is prohibited from performing the ongoing regular functions of the government function due to the recent government shutdown. This has raised concerns on how the approval of Vanek and Solidex Bitcoin ETF will proceed, which is due on February 27. However, according to Jake Shervinsky, a lawyer at Government Enforcement, Defense and Securities Litigation, stated to Twitter that the SEC is not allowed to delay its decision any further and that the shutdown does not trigger any exception to the deadline under 15 U.S.C. Section 78S. It is not still clear whether the Bitcoin ETFs will be approved or not. And while Kelly may not be optimistic, many traders are hoping for the application to be approved to trigger renewed interest in Bitcoin. On January 18th, the state of Wyoming introduced a new bill concerning the classification of cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies, the bill states, are to be defined as forms of money. According to the bill, a digital asset is a representation of economic, proprietary, or access rights that is stored in a computer-readable format. Digital assets are further separated into three categories, digital consumer assets, digital currencies, and virtual currencies. Digital consumer assets are digital assets that are purchased for consumptive reasons and personal or household purposes. In other words, a digital consumer asset is a utility token. Digital securities refer to a digital asset that fall under the definition of a security. A virtual currency is defined as a digital asset used as a medium of exchange, unit of account, or store of value which is not recognized as legal tender by the United States government. The bill defines assets falling into any type of these three categories as tangible personal property, which grants for virtual currencies the same treatment as fiat currency. Over the past few weeks, the state of Wyoming has been actively embracing cryptocurrencies within its legal structure. This new bill represents a welcome addition to a maturing regulatory framework. CCN, a cryptocurrency media outlet, reported that a vendor named Exploit Dot is attempting to sell user data he claims to have acquired from major cryptocurrency exchanges on a darknet market called Dread. On an advertisement posted on Dread, the vendor claimed that the dataset consisted of more than 100,000 user information that one submits for KYC approval from major exchanges including Bittrex, Polonix, Bitfinex, and Binance. 
according to the advertisement. The data is sold in batches of $100 for $10 and is offered at a discount when purchased in bulk. CCN stated that the ad was still online at the time of publication and that CCN had received the tip off from an anonymous source which supplied the media outlet with three sample files as evidence of the claims. When CCN contacted Binance, a spokesperson for Binance stated that Binance has theories in regards to how this information may have been obtained. However, the exchanges in question are yet to clarify whether the claims of the seller are true and how the information could have been leaked. Bringing you the latest news, I'm your host Hun with the Token Post Daily News Briefing. Thank you for watching.